Hello everyone! Welcome to our subject, Techno Apps, for week 5. Again, I'm your teacher, Shalame Pareha. Our topic for this week is all about serial monitor and traffic lights. Again, it's under the subject, Techno Apps in Techno Gadget. Home automation refers to the use of technology to control home lighting and appliances. The objective of home automation is to improve convenience and comfort for all the occupants. Home automation is very expensive because it is custom made by the companies. On the Arduino platform, you can build your own home automation system using serial communication. Serial communication provides an easy access from your computer to your Arduino board. It allows them to interact with one another, receiving and transmitting information using this capability. Information is transferring back and forth between computer and Arduino platform. Data one byte at a time, one write after the other. Arduino IDE has a separate pop-up window that visualizes the incoming data from the Arduino board, and it is called Serial Monitor. Arduino IDE has a separate pop-up window that visualizes the incoming data from the Arduino board, and again, it is the Serial Monitor. So with Serial Library, you can transmit and receive data via Serial Port or the USB A to B cable. Serial data is sent over the USB cable and consists a series of high and low sent over the cable. Data can be set into both direction. So with that, the anatomy of the Serial Monitor window. In the outbound area, you can type characters when you click on the send button. Command is sent to your Arduino button. The characters sent by the Arduino board are displayed in the inbound area. Line and settings specify how the command is terminated. Bound rate settings specifies the transmission speed that your bo board will be using. This setting must match the setting your sketch uses in the serial library. Serial Library Library is a collection of codes and procedures. In each library, codes and procedures are related. The library you will be using is the, is the serial library, wherein Serial library allows the Arduino to send data back to the computer. Switch case statements. With this, it shows that it conducts a series of tests to compare the type value to the value specified in each statement. So as you can see, on the switch switch case settings, these statements are similar to first conditional statement that we have discussed on our earlier discussions last week. However, switch case statements conducts a series of tests to compare the type value to the value specified in each statement. When a match is found, the command in the, sta in the case statements execute. If there is no match found, the optional default case is executed. As you can see, if the input on the sketch, if the input valued match within the cases, commands inside the case will execute. Commands inside is a default if no found match within. So a break is used in every end of each case to prevent upsurge from one case to another. 
Now, for a second topic, it's all about traffic lights. We will now learn how to make a simple traffic light using LEDs. So, traffic lights are composed of green, yellow, and red lights that are synchronized in time. In this activity, we will be able to build our own traffic light system using red, green, and yellow LEDs controlled by the Arduino board. During programming, we will be using pin mode to declare our pin as input or output and digital write to set our pin to high or low. In high mode, the pin supplies 5 volts to our component and 0 volts when in low mode. So, with that activity, we're going to use or we're going to need the following materials. The first one is Arduino, Arduino Uno. Then, we also need breadboard, three resistors with 220 ohms. Of course, we need red, green, and yellow LEDs. And lastly, we need wires to have connection with our materials. So, this is our circuit. It is a blinking lights breadboard view. So, this is the output of our activity or how we can create a traffic light. Now, with this, it is the schematic diagram of the circuit traffic lights. So, what are we going to do with this? So, we need, we need to connect the ground to the breadboard. The ground is the GND. Place the three LEDs in the breadboard with its anode or the longer leg connected to 220 ohms resistors in series. Connect the red light to pin 12, yellow LED to pin 10, and green LED to pin 8. Lastly, we need to connect the LED cathodes, which are the shorter leg, to the breadboard ground to complete the circuit. Plug the USB cable to the Arduino. For safety consideration, the Arduino should not be powered when you are building the circuit. Also, a set of codes will be given by the teacher. In the first part of the code, we assign variables for pins for simplicity. In this case, we assign pins to the corresponding color. The data type, int or integer of variables has to be declared as well as the set of functions that contains pin mode instruction. The loop function which will run continuously contains the lightning and timing sequence of the LEDs. Of course, uh, with that, if you're, you follow correctly all the steps, I would like to say congratulations. You have successfully built and implemented your first Arduino system and program. You can now modify your program to customize your traffic system. So the teacher will give you an exercise or a simulation during our class consultation using Tinkercad. So, prepare your accounts on Tinkercad because we're going to try to simulate this, this activity, the traffic light activity. Again, this is the schematic diagram. So, if you do not have questions or clarifications, we can now proceed to our objective test and performance test, which can be accessed through our um, Google Classroom. And if you, you have any more questions and clarifications or suggestions to our lesson, do not hesitate to send your questions to my email. You can also send an SMS or message to me, my Facebook account, and also to my MS Teams account.
Thank you very much for listening. Always stay safe and happy learning to everyone. See you all next week.